We're back, everyone, on your Monday as we continue road tripping across Alaska. We gathered a rather special group to check out the fun to be had a little closer to home. And with this group, fun is always on the menu. Tracy Sinclair and a few friends go road tripping in Girdwood. You guys excited for a road trip? Yes. yes. But it's not just a road trip, it's a girls, girls trip. trip. But you know, first up, guys, coffee shop. Road trip 2023. Yeah. After a quick 45 minute drive, we arrive at the Alpenglow Coffee House. It's our first stop for our day in Girdwood. The Alpenglow Coffee House is fairly new on the Girdwood scene, opening November 15th, 2022. But while the business might be new, the staff is definitely homegrown. I was born and raised here in Girdwood. I've lived here my whole life. I've lived here since 1997, and um, yeah. Yeah, and Girdwood's just a wonderful community. Lured by the prospect of food, we checked out the options, but in the end, we were all clearly drawn to one item. So I would also like one of those that looks lovely. I'm gonna have one of those too. Perfect. And I'll also have one of those. <laughs> the freshly made breakfast bake. And of course, coffee, or in my case, tea. Girls Day Girdwood. Girls Day! We also got one sweet treat to share because, well, we couldn't resist. Raspberry cinnamon rolls, all made locally. Barista Becca Bosler finds a good fit at the Alpenglow, and it's a good thing she can multitask. I love tourists, I love talking to people, I love the locals, and I know everybody, and I love seeing them. I love it because it's social, it's, um, it's, just, uh, it's just a great place to meet people, and it's always what I've wanted. So it was, it's been just an absolutely fantastic adventure so far. May is the shoulder season for Girdwood. Owner Justin Schaffner says the community has come out in a big way for the new shop, but the staff knows what summer in Girdwood can mean. I am ready for the tourists. I'm ready for it to be super busy. I'm ready for there to be wine out the door. I'm ready for sunshine. And I can't wait to just make a ton of coffee. And act as a bit of a tour guide. They ask so many questions about, are the Northern Lights real? Like, have you seen those? And do you see bears all the time? And are we going to see a moose? You, what about eagles? And I, I love it. I just love talking to them about that. Heading into their first summer, Schaffner is hopeful, but remains cautious. My wife and I haven't quit our day jobs, if you will. Um, so we're just taking this slowly, one step at a time. Um, but we are both very optimistic about how the summer is going to proceed, especially based upon the reception we've been getting so far from our community, who have been incredibly supportive. And there's even space to make a new friend. Being able to be outside on the deck, also have a cup of coffee in the morning, sit in the sun. I think that's really nice. After our morning treats, it's time to head to the spa. Road tripping for Alaska's news source, I'm Tracy Sinclair.